Today marks the 23rd anniversary on the attack on the World Trade Center, September 11th, 2001. I'm Stephen Cochran, and I'm here with my mom, Gail Cochran, who had written a very special poem pertaining to the attack on the World Trade Center. Mom, would you like to explain your special connection to the World Trade Center? I would. Thank you, Stephen, for asking. John Biggiano was my much loved first cousin who lost his only children, both boys, Joseph and John, at the World Trade Center on 9-1-1. Joe was a detective with the NYPD, and John, a fireman, was with the FDNY. Johnny Vidge, as my cousin was called, was also the most decorated fireman in the state of New York. On the day John died, I wrote this poem so that I would always remember that fateful day and all of those who lost so much. To hear more about the Vigiano Boys and the award-winning documentary about the boys that won the Academy Award, Google the Vigiano Boys 911. Now the poem 911, That Fateful Day. Tears fall as I write this because an FDNY legend died today. A humble, courageous, God-fearing man, those who knew him would say. His name was John Biggiano, a Marine who bled red, white, and blue, a devoted husband and father, a second-generation firefighter, too. For 36 years in Brooklyn, New York, John served with the FDNY, a decorated captain, yet he was always just one of the guys. John and Jan had two children, and both picked up the baton. Joe was a detective with NYPD, while his brother, a firefighter, was also named John. On September 11, 2001, terrorists brought the Twin Towers down, and a hundred thousand tons of concrete became hollowed ground. As John and Joe entered the towers on that fateful day, flames and ash filled the sky as the world washed their tears away. In 2002, at Ground Zero, John watched as they sifted through the rubble, searching for body parks using small rakes and shovels. Some of Joe's remains were found, but John's were never recovered. The rest of John's life was spent helping Gold Star families and visiting the wounded vets who were recovering at Walter Reed. The Vigianos were invited to the White House to be thanked for their service and their sacrifice because, like so many who lost their loved ones that day, the Vigianos paid a terrible price. <laughs>